Since the betel nut ban in Port Moresby, families making a living from betel nut sales were hit the hardest, while city security and police officers did their job to stop the illegal smuggling of betel nut into Moresby, betel nut smuggling still continued and people kept selling betel nut within city surroundings with fear of challenges of the ban with police who confiscated betel nuts from people. Since then, Mosby South residents petitioned their concerns to local MP Justin Tichenko to help them find a safe place to sell betel nut so they could continue to sell and make a living. After negotiations with entity governor Poes Pakop, the people of Mosby South were given permission to sell their betel nuts inside the newly built Sabama market. <laughs> I'm Maslow, stop in check now, market. Tachenko says providing a safe place for people to continue to help and support their families in one way or another is the responsibility of their local leaders. So this is a test uh, to incorporate betel nut with our um, uh, fruit and vegetable sellers and cooked food sellers. I think it will be a bonus to the uh, fruit and vegetable sellers and the cooked food sellers because we'll get more traffic coming into the market now. So while they buy their bit or not, they might buy something to eat or some vegetables to take home as well. So hopefully we see an increase in sales for the other sellers here um, that uh, will help the uh, market pick up and become bigger and better than it's already been. Sabama Market has also given vegetable sellers and residents the opportunity to buy and sell while providing informal job opportunities. Because the betel nut sellers come here, the conditions are that um, there will be no chewing of betel nut in this market at all. The challenge for the people now is to keep the selling areas clean and free of betel nut spit and rubbish that can create health hazard to the people. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.